This week we'll be making some embellishments. To start with, get your B-size hook and color three. Leave a tail about five or six inches long, tie a slip knot, and chain three. Then we'll be doing a double crochet four together in the third chain from the hook. To do a double crochet four together, you yarn over, you go into the chain, pull through, yarn over and pull through two, leaving the loops on the hook. When you have five loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all five. Chain three again. This time you'll be doing the double crochet four together and the eye at the bottom of the chain three. And that's pretty much the pattern repeat. It's chain three, double crochet four together in the eye, and repeat. Do this until your trim measures the sides of your flag and goes up and around the bottom of your flag as well. Try not to stretch it or your flag will gather when you attach it. Have it lay flat and make sure it meets all the points. When you have the right length, it's time to fasten off and all you need to do after you finish your last double crochet four together is chain one and cut a length of yarn leaving a tail. I ended with 70 double crochet four togethers, but depending on your tension and the length of your flag, you may end up with a different count. We'll be attaching all the pieces together in a couple of weeks. So just finding the center here and laying it down. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to make some cording doing some Romanian point lace that will go in these double crochet posts weaved in and out. We'll be using our E hook and color 4. This cording is very basic in the Romanian point lace. There's some really beautiful work. You might want to check it out. To begin, tie a slip knot and then you're going to chain 2. Next, go into the second chain from the hook, yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through both of those loops on your hook. You're going to turn your work clockwise and find that one strand and go into the strand, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through both loops. Again, turning clockwise. This time you'll have two loops from the previous stitch. Get under both those loops, yarn over and pull through just those two, leaving two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through two. That's the pattern repeat. Turn clockwise. Go into the two loops, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through both loops. Continue doing this until you get a length uh, that measures the bottom of your flag. Mine measured about 11 inches, but depending on your tension and gauge, um, just lay it down on the bottom of your flag so that it gets to each border edge. And once you're at your desired length, this is how to fasten off. Start off the stitch like you would, but do a pull through and pull through. So it's like a slip stitch. Turn clockwise and do that one more time. Pull through, pull through. I just did a chain one and then cut a length of yarn. You'll be making a total of three of these, one for each flag end, and you can go ahead and weave it in and out of your double crochet uh, posts to see how that it looks and fits. But I'll be showing you how to tuck in all your tails and uh, sew on some other pieces in a couple of weeks. Lastly, we'll be making some little leaf sets, a set of three leaves. It's the leaves that we've done before. So with your B hook and your uh, color one, go ahead and chain five. From there, do the leaf pattern. I'll repeat it here. It's a chain seven, 
and then you will slip stitch in the second chain from the hook, half double, or excuse me, single crochet, half double, double crochet, half double crochet, and then a slip stitch. From there, chain three more, and then you will leaf again. Once you've completed that leaf, go ahead and do two slip stitch up that chain three you previously did, and then leaf again. You've got one more slip stitch to do, and then you're going to skip the leaf base, and you'll slip stitch up those last five slip stitches and fasten off. You'll be making five, one for each star point, so a total of 15 altogether. It's almost time to put them all together, but oh joy, I have another surprise for you. See you next week.